I understand why authoritarian leaders wants to, want to make themselves like uh, in the eyes of the people look indispensable so that they cannot be replaced, that if they are replaced, then the country is gone. But I mean, the United States will have elections like in three years. And like, if he's re-elected, he's re he, I mean, he, if, he, if, he, if he's not elected, he's not elected, he's gonna go. He, ha he will have to obey the will of the people. And, and, and that, that's the major difference. And like when we are talking about like Putin's Russia, I mean, and when we are talking about uh, uh, their strategies and their mm, uh, sort of policies, I mean, uh, we shouldn't lose the focus here. We shouldn't lose the focus here. No matter what you think and w what Americans think about their president, America is not Russia. America is checks and balances. America is American constitution. And what we should hope for, that constitutional system somehow sort of <coughs> uh, deals with this challenge and doesn't break up. Can so I this is what we should care about. I mean, this is. This, this is not, I mean, we shouldn't, be, we shouldn't be losing focus here because, again, this is what Putin wants. That's the, the Putin's goal, just to make sure that everybody thinks that there is no right and wrong and that uh, everything is gray and everybody is the same. We shouldn't let him do that. That should be our goal to make the difference. And, and you know, we do have an election in November of this year. <laughs> yeah. Very, very.